There's a lizard enjoying eating a flower. Hibiscus. What are you up to, Mr. Lizard? No way. Proves they're not carnivores anyway, they can eat flowers. Come on, little fella. Interesting, very interesting. Tasty flat. Come on, eat it up. You can do it. He's got to be sucking sugar out of that thing. So, hibiscus flower. And they've just fallen. Let's see a couple there. He's chewing on it. been in the same spot for at least 10 minutes and I can't see that it's actually swallowing any of the petals, but it chews every now and then, every couple of minutes, and then it just sits. So it's like it's absorbing the sugar out of the flower. Um, but I'll go back and look at some of the footage I've been inside. I just couldn't stand here for the whole time watching it. And it has remained in pretty much in the same position, chewing on the hibiscus flower. I've never seen one of these lizards ever eat a flower before. I don't know if it's common. It's for us, it's very uncommon. <laughs> Looks like a frill neck lizard. Zoom in a bit. Frame him up a bit better. Strange how he just chews, chews, chews and then sits. So that's all I can think that he's doing is just absorbing the sugar out of the flower. Petals. A lovely little frill on the back of his head. Beautiful little lizards, really. I think they're called a bearded dragon. The Northern Territory of Australia. Is it get it down? Looks like he's definitely trying to swallow it now. And he's been chewing it for at least 
30 minutes on and off but he, he pauses as we've as we've just seen in this short bit of footage he's pausing regularly so I assumed at first he was just um, sucking the sugar or absorbing the sugar through his membrane in his mouth from the hibiscus flower petals but he, yeah, at times he seems to be wanting to eat it and maybe he's just crushing larger bits it's actually very good camouflage because he just doesn't look like a lizard at the moment beautiful tail long legs he looks like anything but a lizard from just glancing over at the garden you just see this sort of debris in his mouth that doesn't look like a flower at all so but certainly not a method of camouflaging himself that beautiful frill on his neck try and take a closer look that was zoomed into the max He seems to be getting there. I'd really like to know if he's going to consume it. So let's um, let's wait and see. Bearded dragon with hibiscus flower. Come on, get it down. Very interesting, isn't it? Watching a lizard eat a flower. There he is. In the last steps. Yep, he's finally got it. Wow, I was here to see it. Just decided to come out and watch him. He's got it all in his mouth.
he's definitely swallowing that flower. I wonder how long that would take him to, oh sorry, yeah, to digest and how long it would sustain him for. So there you go, if you own a lizard, go out and buy some hibiscus flowers that are organic and see if they'll eat them. A lot of insects in this garden and small lizards and worms so, you know, he's eaten that for a reason. He's decided that was really a bit of a treat and he's gobbled it up. One happy, happy little bearded dragon. Yep. Let's see. Yep, you're going to eat that last bit. Mmm, very contented now. Well, there's another piece there if you're going, you want it. You're going to have it. Yeah. Maybe. Well, there you go. That was a fascinating almost almost an hour at least 50 minutes it took that lizard to chew up a semi I was going to say semi decomposing flower has been on the ground about maybe two or three days and it's was certainly soft enough for him to grab a hold of chew up and swallow. What you looking at? See his eye move and it can rotate and pivot in its socket and it look he looks straight down like the ground almost. I'm surprised that he's not eating that little is it the stamen? The where the uh, on the rock there. You'd think he'd want to eat, you know, finish it off and have that last bit, but maybe the pollen isn't something that uh, goes well in their stomach. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Very fascinating watching God's creatures, what they do how they feed, how long they take to eat things and what they eat. Very fascinating. And I'll uh, look at another time to see whether or not the uh, little stamen there has disappeared, whether he eats it after I turn the camera off. It looks like he wants to, but he's just I think he'd be quite happy after eating such a large flower. So there we go. Signing off. Pretty much after saying see you later signing off, he ran across a couple of foot further on the lawn. Wasn't interested in eating that last little bit of the flower. And it seems that he's just getting some sun now. The vitamin D. There you go. Beautiful lizard. Lovely, lovely eyes, lovely stripe, beard and scales. Beautiful, beautiful part of our creation. Okay, wonderful looking lizard. Lovely long tail. I think, is that going to give us a shot of, he's got a bit of a growth under his chin there. That's why he's called a bearded dragon. I'm not sure. But anyway, might have another name. Oh, insect flew near him and he jumped. I have filmed these before and I do. Oh, what's he picking at there? I'm not going to eat a dead flower now, eh? Another one, brown, orange, brown, orange, orange, brown, orange. Oh, look at his stance there, he's beautiful. Pretty little lizard. 
I think I'd feel bad about keeping one of these in, a, in an aquarium because they just need gardens to run around in and be free. So wasps, it's fascinating. Um, there's reasons why snakes are kept for their venom um, to be milked. I find it hard to kind of agree with keeping lizards in a cage, in a terrarium, if that's the word. Um, no, I'm sure they're quite happy, but I just yeah, like to uh, see them in the wild. He ran on his back legs then, so it would have been good to get that, but I didn't. Sitting up quite proudly. Trying to get his whole body in there. Can't actually fit his tail on it's quite long. Goes right back to there. Right there. Beautiful spots. Equally stepped out in portions. Very camouflage looking lizard, like its body tamed the tails got this yeah like a tan brown kind of it's a little bit more saturated in this video footage and then it moves into this darker body chest area into a lighter head with the stripe going right down the body and it changes color as well very white on the face as you can see it's a little bit overexposed it's a little sony camera Okay, he's gone.